there is a lot to talk about. Um, I've been getting the comments uh, that you put on uh, uh, the uh, the course evaluation evaluation site. Um, one thing I was surprised to find out uh, was that uh, some of you said uh, that some words are not clear on the PowerPoint files. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize maybe with uh, Frankenstein, uh, where maybe I get too I got too excited about the the background. <laughs> You know, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think that is a passionate work, so I want some more colors at the background. Okay, and that's where uh, I didn't uh, pay close attention uh, to the, the, the presentation effects, you know, how uh, it can interfere with the words. And this time I'm more careful, okay. The dollar sign I, I still want to put here because I want to remind you of the uh, materialistic aspect of uh, the American dream. So it's always uh, in the background, but I'll make sure that uh, it doesn't interfere with the words, okay? Uh, today we have a lot to talk about. Uh, uh, I'll explain the social conditions and the stage reactions more, and I'll do a plot summary for you. Uh, I, I know uh, Act One is not really easy. It's a lot of discussion, um, but I think that um, the dialogue uh, should be quite relevant to us. You now, because uh, it's mostly about dreams and family relations. I think these are the two main themes, dream and family relations. Uh, and then, uh, us with uh, the other plays we have read, I think that uh, reading a play helps us understand the overtone uh, in human dialogue. And uh, conversation, uh, having uh, talking with people is something that we do every day. But sometimes uh, we don't realize that there are some uh, implicit meanings going going on around us in our dialogue, in our discussion, in our uh, casual chats. Okay, but I think that uh, with reading plays, uh, that's something uh, we can watch out for because uh, we can read those words very carefully. Okay, and uh, of course uh, the other advantage of reading play is that. Uh, uh, unlike a novel like Frankenstein, if you don't visualize Mont Blanc or Montevert, uh, it's okay. You know, you just have a vague idea of the, the, the atmosphere and that's fine. But a play requires you to visualize the whole thing, you know, to understand, um, uh, to, uh, to like mentally put them, put the whole story on a stage. Okay, and that's where, um, I guess uh, with um, uh, Bernard Shaw, uh, Pygmalion, uh, maybe it's not that important that you uh, understand uh, all the details of Mrs. Uh, Pickering's house. Maybe if, if you don't know all the details, uh, it's okay. But still, uh, the details of the setting, uh, uh, says something about the character, so you need to know know it. And then here, especially, the stage directions help you understand the, the way uh, Willis's mind functions, how he works back and forth between the present and past. Okay, so in that sense, uh, it's, uh, it, it's a bit harder than uh, Aquas, because with Aquas, it's narration. Uh, Alan, right? Alan Strain. Alan Strain talks to the, uh, the the psychiatrist. Uh, so uh, his narration will show in the center part. So you know that, oh, here he's talking about the past and the past emerge in the center stage. But with uh, uh, Death of a Salesman, you know, the switching between the past and the present is really fluid. So you need to watch out for signs uh, in stage direction or in their dialogue. Okay, so I think that's a, a big task. But it's a good task because, uh, you know, with this practice, later on when you read a play, you'll be really sensitive to uh, what the stage direction can, can tell you, okay? Uh, so we'll talk about stage direction and then we'll analyze the character's relations. And towards the end, I'll talk about the dreams, uh, the American uh, dreams. And then also um, how Charlie Bernard, uh, the father and son, can be a, a contrast to William Biff, okay? Okay, so um, let me just give you, this is a set of questions I want to ask you to answer uh, in your journal. You can pick up just one. Um, 
，有一件事情很好玩哈，我每次说你们就选一个就好，然后要去考试的时候也是一样，选一个就好。可是我常常一大题里面会有几个小题，然后你们就 then you get very confused， 到底是一个大题还是呃一个小题？好 ，OK， 嗯、um,。I think that's a problem that some of you had with uh, uh, midterm one. I think uh, whoever had that problem, uh, I kept saying that you only need to answer four questions, right? 好像是一共四个，是不是？还几个？我我不断的重复，然后也叫那个 David 跟你们讲，结果你们还是有一些人两个小题都选了。好 ，OK. And here, let me be very clear. 呃，一个小题就好，一个小题就好，因为你们你呃、uh, ，I don't expect you to write a lot in your journal, um, but I expect you to further develop it after you have read uh Act Two, and then turn it turn it into your final exam question uh answer. 换句话说，我同样问题会在呃期末考上出现。好，可是 by then you will need to Consider what happens in Act Two. Okay, and also the requiem, also the requiem. Okay, um, yeah. For final exam, uh, I'm almost decided what I'm going to do. Uh, one is uh, I'm going to ask you. Well, actually, I I will talk more about it next time after when I give you back the midterm one, because you'll know why I do that. Okay, but let me still say it. Uh, the first is this one. And the second is uh, the discuss and learn. You know, I'll get one question from discuss and learn. I'll get one question from this journal one, and then I'll ask you to choose one point to do a course analysis. <laughs> but it's your own choice. You know, uh, any point that we have read, uh, this semester or last semester. You know, uh, the one thing I regret not doing is to have you memorize one point. And then, uh, like recite it. That would be a great thing to do. I thought about it, but it's too late. <laughs> also, technically, it's not possible. You know, I don't have time to tell you like how you can record and everything. Uh, that's really too bad. But uh, I think the, you know, you really should leave this class, you know, with at least rem remembering <laughs> one point <laughs> and, and knowing how to analyze one point. Okay. So these are the three questions already. 清不清楚？好，一个是 journal one 的问题，一个是 discuss discuss and learn。那 discuss and learn 那个怎么问？我要我我下礼拜要把它写出来。好，应该是方法应该是说，我很我很狡猾啊、哦，就是方法应该是那个让你们去选另外一个 passage， 就是五个 passage 不对，对不对？可是你不能选你你小组报告那个，可是我会公布那个。大的 discussion 的那个 video， 你可以看别组怎么讨论的。好，可是这个公布是你们自己，就我不会公布给别人，我只是让你们自己看到。OK， so I'm 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 still asking you to learn how to learn from your classmates. You know, I think that's an important thing to do. 好，所以就三目前已经有三三题出来了，那另外一题应该就是那个。我其实原来有一个 typical 的那个 end of the semester， 呃、uh, second semester question。那我现在还在 debate， 就另外一个，一般就是 excerpt analysis， 一般就是那个就 final summary question。我还还没有决定要做哪一个，很可能是 excerpts。好，所以就三题，一个 discuss and learn， 一个是选一首诗，然后一个是这一题。好，然后还有还有再一题，应该是这样子。好 ，OK。So， 呃、uh, ，So here let me explain。Uh, the two major questions. One is about the characters. The other is about the uh, the stage directions. Okay. Um, about the character dreams, efforts, and frustrations. Uh, first about Willow's dream. You know, where does he get his dream? Uh, what is his dream like? And how is it different from Ben's? Okay. Or maybe his father's. Okay. Uh, and then uh, how is his support his dream supported by Linda? Okay, so this is the the first uh, question. Uh, the second question, and how about Happies and Biffs? You know, these are the dreamers. These are people with dreams. Uh, it's okay to have dreams. Um, so we need to know the content of their dreams. What is Happy's dream and what is Biff's dream? 
um, uh, when we talk about the younger generation's dream, uh, especially in this play, it's definitely to do with uh, how they are educated because they learn a lot from their father. In a way, they inherit uh, their father's dream. But when it gets to their generation, the dream becomes different. Okay, so you need to look at uh, uh, the, the, the two brothers' dreams. Okay, and then um, Charlie and Bernard. Um, when looking at Charlie and Bernard, you know, sometimes we can um, almost consider uh, whether we ourselves are more like Charlie and Bernard on one side or William Biff on the other side. Of course, uh, they are set in contrast, so they are two extremes. Okay, well, well maybe we can say that one is on the practical side and the other is with dreams and ideals. Okay, but not too much self-knowledge. Okay, so uh, we'll try to make a contrast between the people on two sides, okay? And here, talking about Willie Lohman, um, remember in our class, uh, this semester we have one major theme, which is uh, boundary crossing. Uh, uh, Frankenstein is one to cr really cross uh, uh, the social boundaries or the boundary between human and uh, and uh, mo uh, human mortality and immortality, etc. Uh, as a hero, Frankenstein is a hero. He is really capable. He is very knowledgeable, etc. Okay, but he has his own flaws. And Willie Loman is a low man. Is a small potato. You know, he's simply a salesperson. You know, he's not really like a manager, a, a VIP, or. Uh, he has a lot of uh, contradictions, okay? So I guess um, uh, another thing the play asks us to do is uh, to for us to see whether we can be sympathetic with such a person. You know, uh, such a small potato who has so many weaknesses, you know, who is so self-deceptive. But then in the play, he is given some dignity. Uh, and then uh, towards the end of the play, you can determine whether you can like him or not. You know, maybe out on the street, you don't even pay attention to him. You know, you just want to ignore a salesperson. Uh, you know, like you know, avoiding being attached, being uh, harassed by the salesperson. Okay, but this play asks us to be more sympathetic. Okay, and of course uh, the social conditions because. Uh, uh, just now I talk about us, you know, us being in the 21st century, but this one uh, is um, the first part of the 20th century. So it's mostly uh, industrial capitalism. Okay, uh, as I said last time, um, uh, we can almost relate uh, will it, uh, to uh, Sandwich Man or uh, I don't know. Don't even know how to call it. Uh, in the past, we had a kind of um, uh, 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 I don't know. S gar um, not garbage man. Uh, the 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 peddler who goes who went around uh, to trade things. You know, like if you give him the 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 cans, the empty cans and uh, bottles. Then he'll give you a uh, right? Uh, maybe I don't think you have experience of that. Uh, I had the experience of that very early on, uh, maybe when I was like uh, five or six, very young. Uh, and then that that kind of salesperson uh, uh, is gone too. Okay. Um, so um, now uh, um, commodities get sold uh, really on the broad scale, you know, like uh, via internet or uh, with a lot of advertisement posted like uh, everywhere uh, in our world. You know, we don't really have this kind of personal promotion uh, except for some special business like insurance, uh, real estate. You know, real estate in insurance, uh, they need uh, like personal promotion. Otherwise, uh, all the other businesses know get promoted you know more um, in uh, in a, uh, on a large scale you know with some uh, different kinds of media like electronic media uh, or uh, 
the visual media like advertisement, commercials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, being aware of the conditions, the social conditions they're in, uh, is also very important. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the first uh, group of question. Uh, the second group of question. Um, Yes, uh, these are two, again, two, um, so when we look at the uh, stage directions, uh, we get to see how well it remembers the past you know, frequently you know, and goes back to the past frequently. Then the question is, uh, you know, why does he repeat some lines? What is he preoccupied with? You know, uh, and why is a woman significant? And then the car, the flu, the, you know, a lot of things get repeated get mentioned repeatedly so that they become symbolic. So we'll need to know the meanings of those uh, items. Okay? So these are the two major parts. Um, uh, yes, let me know if you have questions about the, the journal. You know, basically, I'll just post the questions online, and then you just pick up one. And don't forget, uh, oh, yeah, the length. Um, 两页,不长吧? 好,两页, uh, uh, space So it's about, uh, I think 500 words, 对不对? 两页, 好像, 两, 两页半是500字, so it's about 500 words, uh, or 400 to 500 words, if I remember correctly. Basically just two pages, uh, and there should be at least five paragraphs. Because I want the int introduction, I want the conclusion, I want the thesis statement in the introduction, and, and then you will need to wrap up your arguments in the conclusion. Okay, and then uh, in the middle paragra paragraph, you can develop your ideas. Okay. Huh. Okay, so uh, relevance. Um, I think the, you know, when we talk about personal relevance, uh, we really can uh, make some, uh, Tangential connections, you know, uh, not really uh, making everything relevant to us, but taking a theme or taking an issue and seeing whether uh, how we deal with it uh, in our own society, in our own world, or in our own family. Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, asking some questions for you to start to think in that way. For instance, uh, do you have relatives who hold America, an American dream? I do, I do. Uh, I, I don't think people do nowadays as much as they did, or we did in the past. You know, when I was in college, I guess uh, going to the States to study and then trying to stay there, I guess it's almost the only direction to take. Be, uh, uh, especially for those people who have the ability, the financial abilities to do so. No, it, that's o almost the only, no, um, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, they were all out of the picture. You know, we, uh, the only direction to take was uh, the United States. Okay, and this is not to mention for some other people, like uh, some mainland Chinese families. You know, by the time uh, Chen, Shui Chen Shui Bian was elected president, there was a large wave of uh, emigration to the States because they thought that, oh, Taiwan will become uh, the country of the Taiwanese and then uh, they will not belong here. Uh, here. So uh, at that time, there was some uh, 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 phenomenon uh, of emigration. Okay. So uh, maybe you can uh, consider this. You know, whether you did have families uh, or relatives, you know, who stay in the states, uh, and whether uh, they have a kind of or had a kind of American dream or not. Okay. Um, and then uh, talk in, in trying uh, helping you relate to Willie, you know, you can consider whether like one of your parents or one of your older relatives, like grandparent, uh, uncle, etc. You know, uh, maybe some of them can be old, fatigue, and nostalgic. You know, uh, remember we talk about Emily, uh, Emily in a rose for Emily. You know, who looks at the past. You know, not as uh, something. Uh, uh, through a bottleneck, 记不记得那个比喻? 就是Emily对于那一代的老人来说, 过去是一个, 呃, 永远是绿色的草原, 那中间就最, recent past是那个瓶颈, just like they look into the past as they look into a bottle, 好, 那最近的past是那个瓶颈, 
，就是看不到的。那过去的平底的那个 green pasture 是最 vivid、最 colorful， and they are forever green。Yeah， okay。Um， so um， sometimes uh， the, yeah， indeed， uh, the elderly they remember the remote past more distinctly than the recent past。Okay。Um, and then also some parents may want to uh, fulfill themselves in their children. You know, they want their children to realize the dreams they themselves cannot uh, realize. Okay, so that can be another way of relating uh, your world to Willis. Also, um, some of them, like I, I believe uh, a lot of your grandparents, maybe, maybe not your parents, um, uh, have a hard time uh, trying to use a computer, okay, and then um, maybe not all of them know about Facebook, and even if they do, they don't use Facebook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think the elderly nowadays uh, are trying to get used to cell phone, okay. So for them, it's hard to adjust to, you know, all the technological invention, you know, the fast rapid uh, development of these uh, technologies, etc. Okay, so maybe you have. Uh, relatives and uh, uh, elderly uh, 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 people uh, who uh, find it hard to adjust to social changes. So if you have the experience of that, maybe uh, they can be related to Willard in one way or another, okay? So these are uh, just reminders.